Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, hello, soul family. Beautiful rising good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are. I'm trying to get this focused, but I guess the lighting is off. Okay. Depending on the location of your rotation. Mm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading and today is Sunday, 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 August 4th of 2024. So happy Sunday to all of you out there. I hope you're all doing so very great on this wonderful Sunday. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right. So yeah, it's Sunday. It's the first Sunday of the month. It is yep, the first Sunday in August. So happy first Sunday. Ah, so yeah, I feel, you know, just tuning into the collective energy. And so I do apologize if the video appears to be blurry or whatever. It's really just that, you know, I always try to do it by natural, do these videos by natural light. And today it's cloudy, you know, um, tropical storm Debbie's coming in, I guess. And so, uh, she's sending her clouds. She sent her clouds ahead. <laughs> and so it, yeah, it looks weird on the... And it actually looked clearer before I started it. Like, as soon as I started the video, then it, like, went all blurry looking. So, I don't know why it does that. Anyways, yeah. So, Tropical Storm Debbie's on her way. And so, yeah. Really not much to do. Um, but tuning into, like, the collective energies, I was feeling that... There is, because today is the new moon, so today's the new moon in Leo, so I was feeling that there were a lot, that there are a lot of energies coming in for like new ideas, new things to start, new projects, new shifts to make within our own journeys to take us to our next level of success and happiness and joy, whatever it is, so... Yeah, so if you are noticing, like, new ideas or something coming into your head, you know, projects, whatever, uh, pay attention to them. Pay attention. See if they are something tangible. The new moon is about, you know, setting intentions, and the intention would hopefully be to manifest what it is that you are you know, currently thinking about into form by the time the full moon in Leo arrives. So, you know, that's like a six months. So like from the new moon to the full moon in the same sign, it's like six months and the new moon is the intention, like setting the intentions. The full moon is the, you know, the manifestation. So it's about, so let's see, the full moon in Leo would be in, let's see, what is Leo's opposite sign, Aquarius? I think, yeah. So that would be during Aquarius season. So some, starting something now will manifest hopefully during Aquarius season during that Leo full moon. So yeah, so that's the intention. That's kind of what I'm kind of going for. I had like I could barely even sleep last night because I had like new ideas that were just like coming to me and I'm like, okay, okay, I got it. I got to rest. Um, and so, yeah. So when you're setting intentions, you know, for this new moon, because Leo is about, <clears throat> you know, creativity and stuff. When you're setting your intentions, be very specific on what it is that you want to create. Be very specific on what it is that you want the universe to, you know, work on with you. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Enough talk. <laughs> Let's get to the affirmation. All right. Today's affirmation is from our fourth chakra, which is our heart chakra, Anahata chakra. Check out the healing symbol if you can without it being too blurry. Yeah, there it goes. All right. Number 50. 
Everything that I am is beautiful, lovable, and has been created by God. Everything that I am is beautiful, lovable, and has been created by God. Yep, that's true. That is absolutely true. So this is a 50 and fives have to do with change. So everything that you are is beautiful, lovable, and created by God. Nobody else is you. You are your only, you're the only one. Like, isn't that, I mean, cool enough? Like, that's a great place to start at. Like, you are your own original. Like, that's, so great. So know that everything that you are is beautiful, unique, lovable, and created by God. So like in regards to, you know, setting intentions, if what I was feeling with that was, <clears throat> you know, when we have new ideas come to us, like there are reasons, there are things that pop up within our own self that stop us from pursuing that. And I'm feeling with this affirmation, this is here to remind you that everything that you create for this world is uniquely from you, no matter what it is. If it's art, if it's, you know, stories like writing, um, if it's, yeah, gosh, there's so, like, art is so, like, vast because it's like, you know, you could be a painter, you could be like comic books, you could be so many things, music, I mean, it, the list is endless. Know that every single thing that you create, even if there are other people creating it, nobody can do it like you. You put your own unique spin on it. And so that is why everything that you are is beautiful, lovable, and has been created by God. So Okay, let's read the meaning. All right. So, everything that I am is beautiful, lovable, and created by God. Meaning, you have come from the source of life, and you will return to it as well. There is nothing about you that God did not wish you to be, and there is nothing about you that is not God. Recognize the creative force within you in all of its beauty and perfection and let the divine spark within you become a blazing, illuminating flame. Every one of us has our own very individual type of beauty. Do not allow this personal touch to be seen as a mistake because other ideals of beauty dominate the world of advertising or television. Develop respect and live your personal beauty. Hmm. Healing stone, moss agate, lipidiolite, and mukite, fragrance essence, cardamom, and the box flower is mustard. Colonel Mustard in the library. <laughs> okay, let's get it home. <laughs> oh, that is so silly, and I don't know why I'm laughing so hard about it. Um. <laughs> Uh, but yes, absolutely, you are so uniquely you, and that is exactly what you should be spreading to the world. What is it that you love to do? What is it that makes you so happy and smile and brings you joy? If there is somebody in the world right now that is getting paid to do something that you love to do, why not get paid to do it too? And if it's something you love, then you will put so many amazing and creative spins on it that it will be absolutely uniquely yours. So trust yourself and love yourself. Like you literally are the only one of you. And that's awesome. Like that's pretty amazing. Oh my gosh, come on, focus. All right. So... Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know, today's message feels good, it feels good, I make super, like, in, like, a good vibration, and I'm loving it, so, like, it's the creative juices are flowing <laughs> right now, but, yeah, so this has been our uh, first Sunday affirmation, I hope you all found something that resonates with you, and if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up. And whether or not you decide to subscribe to the channel is completely up to you. There is no pressure here. 
Um, however, if you are subscribed to the channel and you love these daily messages, then I just want to say thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. So with all that, happy Sunday. I love you so very much. And I will see you in the next one.